What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here and today we're going back to Town Lake Cars and Coffee. Last video we went, a Corvette crashed and it got almost 70,000 views. So we're gonna go again, it's right down the street and a lot of cool stuff shows up. So let's hop in the FRS, give her a cold start. It's actually cold this time. Last time the camera fogged up but now it's like 50 degrees and I have to wear a jacket. So that's Texas for you but without further ado, let's get to the cars, hop up, turn this bad boy on, and wake up the neighbors baby. She is definitely cold this morning. So we're going about five minutes that way, then that way. So let's go. Okay, okay, guys, we have arrived to Town Lake Cars and Coffee. The parking lot is actually very, very full this time. We are a little bit late because I've had some battery issues, but check it out. We have almost filled the entire lot here in Town Lake. You know what that means, boys? Lots and lots of sends. So Let's look around the lot, check out the cooler things that are here, and then get you all your part the same. So check it out guys, we have a SVJ I've never seen before. I've been told by this amazing source right here that the guy owns that white SV that was here last time, but you can see it's kind of like a matte Nardo gray with the orange J, which is a very expensive option. Loads of carbon fiber. It's Lamborghini Festival this weekend. So hopefully we get to see lots more of these. I know I've seen pictures of a couple more around Houston, but this spec is just so sick. Look at that thing. I don't know, SV or SVJ, let me know. Post up today we got the Huracan, the IX Exotics piece that was here last time, a DB11 wrapped by V's company he works for, a Diablo, driver source brought out the 2002, and of course the SVJ, and a very nice 570 that just pulled in. All the cars are extra loud today, all the cold starts are actually cold. Who knows man, cold tires, beautiful day. We may have another Corvette incident on our hands. And how could it be a car show without the greatest car of all time? The Demon on God. A lot of you guys don't seem to know the difference between a Demon and a Hellcat Red Eye. Allow me to educate you. The new Demons and Red Eyes both have the wide body kind of look, but all the Demons have one single vent while the Red Eyes have two. There's a green red eye here, I'm pretty sure. I'll go show you the difference. See, this one has one. This, this is a red eye. Bro, is that a Supra? That's a nice Supra. Is that a Supra? Is that a Supra? Check these out, guys. Very cool. It looks like people are getting kind of wild, may have to head to the exit. But check this out as well. This guy's got the hood I want. And he's got the wing, but mine's bigger. That wing looks so good in person. Very nice. Okay guys, we covered mostly all the cool things at the meet. 
So now we're gonna head over to our same spot on the corner last time, and hopefully we get some sins. SVJ. Rolling coal, baby. Okay, guys, this is a red eye. knows how to send it. Defender? Nice! Look at this F-12, it's got like Novatech parts on it. 
That is nice. Where do I look? Where do I go? There's Tejano Scott. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Someone just send a California? Oh yeah! Jesus. Oh my god, that thing's got an exhaust on it. Jeez. Naughty boy in the Buick Regal. Nice. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching another installment of Town Lake Cars and Coffee. That one was pretty fun as well. No crashes, but everyone sent it out of there for, I guess, the cold weather coming in. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,